Hi, I'm Barbara Mulvey Little and this is Sherilyn Little Tilford and we're here to talk about our latest project, the Hermit Crab Shuffle. We're sitting in Monarch Mountain Coffee Shop in Sandpoint, Idaho to uh, give you a little insight about how this book came together. So it started out um, when I was watching my first grandchild, Hayden Gross, who was born in Evergreen, Colorado, very, very far away from where Sherry was born in Key West, Florida. And when Sherry was a little girl, she was playing with a hermit crab that got stuck on her pond. Do you remember that? I do. <laughs> do you remember how old you were? Uh, I couldn't have been more than three. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. And this hermit crab, we had to actually pull its little claw apart to get it off her puppy little hand because it was, you know, those little three-year-old hands. And I realized that Hayden would not see those kinds of places, so I started writing down the words to this book. Well, I am not an illustrator. I am not an artist. My mother's an artist, and it turned out my daughter's an artist too. So after I had all the words done, I asked Sherry, could you illustrate it? And you said? I said, well, realism is my forte and sea creatures are a little bit creepy <laughs> when rendered highly realistically. So she I said, said no. no. <laughs> so over the years, um, the book kind of uh, languished in a drawer while I, uh, more grandchildren were born and life happened. And so finally I got back to it, oh, maybe five years ago. And uh, I wanted to find an illustrator and Sherry still said, no, too busy. <laughs> because by that time she had had one of my wonderful grandchildren, Isla, and um, she was busy being a mom. And so I, I found an illustrator and I spent two years working with this gal and she was very sweet and, and actually a, a pretty good, um, she was not an illustrator so much, but was it? Graphic designer? Graphic designer. She was a graphic designer and I had seen some of her work and it was beautiful. But in the end, it just didn't work out. So then I found another illustrator and, and I tried her and, um, and that didn't work out either. And by that time, this was now a couple of years later because you have to give the illustrators time to, to work through things and with all the stuff not working out, I went to Cherry and I begged her. <laughs> I literally begged her. You have to do this. And by this time, Isla was a little grown up, not very grown up, but enough that Sherry had she some was, time. What, seven or eight when you asked me again? Yeah, and then by that time, you had already started teaching classes, mm -hmm. teaching art classes, um, had already prepared the art uh, program for the Homeschool Academy. And so I thought, this time it's going to work. And you said, said sure I'll try <laughs> and here we are a year later a half, a year and a half year and a half yeah. later and we have we have this wonderful book that has got some amazing um, illustrations but they are actually why don't you explain a little bit about the art well each full page spread is a watercolor painting. So the paintings are uh, eight and a half by 22. Here's one, one of our, both of our favorite ones. This is Timmy the turtle and he's gorgeous. And so most of the paintings are one single scene. Some of them are dual scenes that span across the page Here's following the story. Here's another one that's a dual scenes. Well, that's actually just one. What is it? But there are a couple where Hannah and Sophie show up twice on the page. Oh, right. Oh, I see what you mean. Okay. I'll find one like that. Like that one. Okay. So here are two different things happening. On this page, we have Hannah meeting Louis the lobster. And on this page, she's trying on Louis's shell. It didn't work out quite well for her. But despite the fact that the, the characters show up twice, it's one continuous scene anyway. Isn't she cute? <laughs> Her 
hermit crabs are kind of hard to look cute. <laughs> <laughs> they are, but you you somehow managed to do it. And one shrimp of the things, too. Shrimp are, yeah, uh, shrimp shrimp are pretty ugly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but here is is Hannah pleading with Ursula the urchin to see if uh, if her shell would work. But in each instance, Hannah finds out that Timmy the turtle and Louis the lobster and Ursula the urchin and Sammy the seahorse do not have shells. They have other kinds of, of things. Um, I'll take my coffee. And, and so, uh, oh, thank you. We're at, because we're at a coffee oh, shop, we are right. actually going to have coffee. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So, 16 years, almost 16 years after the story formed in my head. Um, and a in, year of painting. A year of um, painting. Just before Christmas 2000, we have a book for you. And uh, one of my favorite things is not, well, there's so many favorite things. This is, uh, this is the a, a drawing of me that one of my other granddaughters did, which is really sweet. And so let's see, what else about the paintings? Mm -hmm. Well, they'll be for sale individually. Um, on your Etsy page? On my Etsy page, yes. Which is? Uh, if you go on Etsy and look up Sherilyn Tilford, you'll find me. Uh, I don't know the direct address, it's just on Etsy. And Sherilyn is with? C-H-E-R-I-L-Y-N-N. -N. And this book you can find at bmlbooks.com. Uh, I have a few other books there. This is our first children's book, although we do have I don't know if you're, are you gonna, are you gonna illustrate my next one? Yeah. <laughs> um, I, I have a, a book about an eagle who thinks he's a chicken. And so it's, it's a fable and uh, look to have that hopefully by next Christmas maybe. I uh, gotta get the words down so you can get an idea of the pictures. So we're very excited about this book. Um, actually, we're gonna be ordering our second printing of it. You cannot get it on Amazon because um, I need the printer to, oh, that was the other thing. Once, once all the um, paintings were done, I took them to a local printer near me and he digitized the whole thing so that we could print it up as a book because watercolor printer, uh, watercolor paintings don't actually come out very well as a book. That would be a lot of work. <laughs> yeah. So, um, Grey Dog Press uh, did the digitization and um, I really trust Russ at Grey Dog Press to print them out in a way that I think uh, the readers will enjoy. And on top of all of that, my sister, who is an educator, is doing curriculum for the books. We're gonna have an art curriculum, a, uh, which Sherry will do, and a, uh, what do you call it, um, language arts curriculum, and a science curriculum, because in the back of the book, there are fun facts for parents and teachers about all the different characters in the book, so that the, it's not just a book that's fun to read, which it is. It, it's ter uh, it's got some rhyming verse that it is really wonderful, and the educators who've um, responded to it, who've reviewed it so far, are very excited about it because it has so many opportunities to teach, and we hope to have some coloring pages mm -hmm. that uh, you'll be able to buy off of Etsy or uh, BMLbooks.com, and. Uh, so we look forward to doing lots more together. It's been, so one more question for you. Now, not everybody can grow their own illustrator. <laughs> it takes a lot of time, <laughs> quite a few decades actually. Um, but uh, I, I have a feeling this opens up a whole new form for your artistic uh, endeavors. It does, and it, it's the largest single project by far I've ever worked on. Really? I've never worked on the same Thing. I mean, it was different paintings, but the same project for an entire year. Well, that's true. Yeah. 
Um, I've certainly worked on things, put them away for several years and brought them <laughs> back out, but to work continually on the same thing was, um, it was very overwhelming to get started, but once I pieced it out, it was fun. Well, and so how, how did you get started with it? What, what was your process getting started? Uh, I sat down with the book and I read it through several times and then I went page by page and I did uh, thumbnail sketches of where I thought the characters would be. And then I collected reference photos online of all the different sea creatures um, because I always, almost always work from reference. Mm -hmm. uh, either a, a, a live something in front of me or um, like if I'm doing a person, I like to have them sitting in front of me rather than work from memory. Uh, so I had a, a large collection of reference photos that I used not to copy, um, but to, to inform the yeah, accurate. Yes, exactly what the creatures looked like. And then, of course, I omitted some of the details, so they didn't look too creepy. <laughs> the scarier details. One of the things that I like in the um, painting with Timmy was uh, that Hannah's sitting on his shell and to see the relative size. Yeah, and, and she so, would actually be a lot smaller than I yeah. show her. <laughs> yeah, probably so. <laughs> Unless um, Timmy's a baby. Well, you never know. You never know. Well, um, anything else about the process of painting? How did you get the colors so vibrant? Uh, lots of layers of color, lots of washes. So that's one of the reasons watercolor takes a long time because you have to build up the layers um, in successive washes and of course you have to wait for them to dry. So each painting took anywhere from eight to 14 hours oh, wow. a piece. Wow. Um, so I would do them in segments. And I actually, I have some process pictures on my Etsy page where you people can see partly finished paintings, my work set up. Oh really? Mm -hmm. I didn't know that. Yeah. If you, I think if you go on my profile uh -huh. or maybe into my about the shop or something, uh -huh. I, don't, I don't know. It probably looks different for me than it looks for other people. Yeah. But uh, yeah, you can see a few photos of my work space, which is my kitchen table at the moment. <laughs> Ah, but in the new house it'll be a Yes, I have an studio. art studio coming. Yeah, that'll be wonderful. Very exciting. Yeah. Well, as you can tell, it is Christmas time. We have Christmas lights starting to shine in, in, uh, as the sun sets here in Sandpoint, Idaho. And uh, we hope you take a look at the book and enjoy it and hope to talk to you soon. Mm -hmm. Take Thanks. care. Bye-bye.